Hi everyone, this is Dave Humpes from www.h-pylori-symptoms.com and I just wanted today um, to explain a couple of things with regard to um, H. pylori and its relationship with other digestive infections, um, particularly parasites. And um, I recently ran some stats on uh, the last one, it was actually the last 103 lab tests that I've had back from uh, my clients. And what I found was, really interestingly, that um, H. pylori was the most common uh, digestive infection that we found. And 52%, um, or just over 52%, of the people who had H. pylori also had another digestive infection. So it actually turned out that in some cases the H. pylori wasn't really causing them any problems at all. It wasn't really causing them any symptoms, but the other digestive bug that they had was causing the majority of their problems. So just to give you an idea of some of the really common ones that we see, um, I have personal affinity to blastocystis, blastocystis hominis. This is a bug that I had at the same time as H. pylori. I've had numerous clients who have had another bug called Giardia with H. pylori or just Giardia on its own. Cryptosporidium is another big one. There was a massive outbreak of Cryptosporidium in the early 90s in Milwaukee, uh, which killed quite a few people. And uh, uh, I think about 420,000 people got sick as a result of that. Um, hookworm is a personal favorite of mine. It causes a lot of problems. Um, it's a tiny, tiny worm. We're not talking about a huge, long tapeworm or anything like that, but it still causes problems in people's systems. Whipworms, threadworms, we see them all, okay? And what we find is that we can clear out the H. pylori and people's symptoms don't get better. And the usual reason is that either they have another one of these bugs or they have a different, uh, or should I say, they have a, a significant reaction to certain foods that they're eating. And until we clear these out or we clear the foods out, um, that person's not gonna get better. I've got a brilliant example of this, um, a client of mine in Bath in the UK who uh, came to me because she had really irregular menstrual cycles, lots of tiredness and fatigue and energy problems, and also lots of digestive issues. On the first test that we ran, we found H. pylori. So we got her to change her diet, and she said that the diet changes improved her position by about 25%, so she felt 25% better. Then we worked on a natural protocol using Matula herbal formula to help uh, uh, try and get rid of her H. pylori and after that cleanse again she felt about another 25% better so we'd got a 50% of the way there but then um, I had access to some new lab testing so we ran the new lab test to look at her digestive function and it's really good at finding worms and I'd never seen any worm infections before but we actually found some worm infections um, particularly with her she actually had uh, this one whipworm which is a bug called Trichuris trichuria. And uh, we ran a cleanse to help get rid of that. And at the end of that cleanse, she sent me a testimonial saying that all her symptoms had disappeared. All her energy had come back. Uh, she was full of energy. She had energy to burn and give away. All her digestive problems had gone away. Her menstrual cycle had completely evened out. And all we'd done is worked on getting rid of these bugs. So it emphasizes the importance. If you have H. pylori and things are not going well with your treatment, your doctor's not helping, that maybe looking for some of these other bugs is, is a way that you may want to uh, progress. So I would recommend that if you'd like a little bit more information on this, I actually have a specific specific website uh, devoted to parasites and it's called www.parasites-secrets.com so parasitesecrets.com and it's parasite without the e uh, sorry without the s on the end so parasite-secrets.com so I hope this has been uh, hope this has been helpful and maybe given you a new direction to go if, in case you've been struggling with your symptoms i'm dave hompez um, please comment on this video if you found it helpful and i look forward to seeing you next time